Discover the adventures of Tangerine, the orange pterodactyl. In a time when dinosaurs roamed the earth, there was one who stood out from the crowd. His name was Tangerine, and he was an orange pterodactyl. Our story begins in a lush, green land where Tangerine was born. His vibrant orange color immediately made him unique among his siblings, which made him extra special. Tangerine's parents were lovingly amazed at his striking color, and they knew he was destined for great things. They taught him everything they knew about flying and surviving in the wild. Tangerine was a quick learner. His favorite thing to do was to soar high in the sky, his orange wings glistening in the sunlight, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. One day, Tangerine was flying when he saw a dark shadow moving in the water below. It was a shark. His heart pounded with fear and excitement. With a quick swoop, he managed to snatch a fish from the water, just inches away from the shark's jaws. It was a thrilling experience that Tangerine would never forget. Returning home, he shared his adventurous tale with his siblings. They listened with wide eyes, admiring Tangerine's bravery. Since that day, his courage became a legend among his kind. Tangerine was always exploring. During his adventures, he made many friends and learned about the diversity in their dinosaur world. He was a friend to all, from the biggest T-Rex to the smallest Compsognathus. One day, Tangerine stumbled upon a hidden valley. Within it were strange plants and creatures he had never seen before. He was fascinated and decided to explore further. Tangerine found himself befriending the creatures of this hidden valley. Together they shared stories, played games, and learned from each other. The valley became Tangerine's second home. However, life wasn't always easy. Tangerine faced many challenges like harsh weather, forest fires, and not to forget, the mighty predators that roamed the land. But each challenge made Tangerine stronger. He learned to trust his instincts and use his wits to outsmart his predators. He became a symbol of courage and wisdom in his community. Tangerine had many adventures throughout his life. He explored new lands, made countless friends, and survived many challenges. His story is a testament to the spirit of adventure and the will to persevere. Our story ends with Tangerine, now an aged pterodactyl, watching the sun set from his favorite perch. His life was filled with adventure, friendship, and wisdom, a life well lived. In the heart of every dinosaur, the legend of Tangerine was etched. His orange figure against the sky became a symbol of bravery, exploration, and friendship, a legacy that would live on for ages. Kids, Tangerine's story reminds us that being different is what makes us special. It's our unique qualities that help us stand out and make a difference in our world. So let's celebrate our uniqueness and embrace the spirit of adventure. Just like Tangerine, let's be brave, be curious, and always be ready to learn. Remember, adventure lies in every corner. It's up to us to explore, learn, and grow. Let's keep Tangerine's spirit alive in our hearts. Let's be daring like Tangerine, let's be caring like Tangerine, and let's always strive to be amazing, just like Tangerine was in his world of dinosaurs. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful adventure. Stay curious, keep exploring, and remember, the world is full of wonderful stories waiting to be discovered. And, of course, keep an eye on the sky. You never know when you might spot an orange pterodactyl soaring high, living his next adventure. That's it for today's story, kids. Hope you enjoyed the adventures of Tangerine, the orange pterodactyl. Goodbye, and always remember, be brave, be unique, and always be ready for an adventure. Journey Through Time, The Tale of the Brown Velociraptor Long, long ago, when the world was young, lived a magnificent creature, the brown velociraptor. Roaming the lands of what is now known as Asia, this cunning predator was small but fierce. Just imagine, children, a creature no bigger than a wolf, but fierce as a lion. That was the Velociraptor. Our story's hero is a unique one, a brown Velociraptor named Ravi. Ravi was not your average Velociraptor. His brown scales helped him blend with the scenery, making him almost invisible. 
Ravi was smaller and weaker than the rest, but was gifted with unmatched speed and stealth. He was the fastest in his pack, able to outrun even the swiftest prey. Ravi's brown scales were his cloak, his shield. They melded with the tall grass, the dense forests, and the rocky terrain. Ravi was the master of camouflage. With his brown scales, he was practically invisible against the backdrop of his environment. Despite his size, Ravi was a force to be reckoned with. His agility and intelligence made him a formidable hunter. Ravi was the proof that size isn't everything. What he lacked in power, he made up with smarts and stealth. Ravi had a sharp, curved claw on each foot, a signature weapon of the Velociraptor. The claw was not just for show. It was a deadly weapon, designed for precision strikes. Ravi wasn't a solitary hunter. He was part of a pack, a family of Velociraptors. The pack was Ravi's home. It was where he learned the ways of the Velociraptor. The pack's alpha, the leader, recognized Ravi's potential. He saw that Ravi's skills complemented their hunting strategies. Ravi's role was crucial. He was the stealth hunter, the one who would approach the prey unnoticed. Ravi's story teaches us the power of uniqueness. Even though he was different, he was still a critical part of his pack. Ravi's tail is a testament to the strength and resilience of the Velociraptor. They were small but mighty. The Velociraptor, just like Ravi, was a creature of adaptability. They could survive in various landscapes and climates. Their strength was not just in their sharp claws or swift speed. It was in their intelligence, their ability to work together, their adaptability. Even though the Velociraptors are long gone, their spirit lives on. They represent the strength that comes from unity and adaptability. Ravi's story is not just a tale of a dinosaur. It's a lesson on the importance of individuality, adaptability, and unity. So, children, remember Ravi the Brown Velociraptor. Remember his courage, his uniqueness, his adaptability. Ravi's tale is a reminder that we, too, possess the ability to adapt and thrive, no matter the circumstances. In closing, let's celebrate Ravi, the brown velociraptor, a hero from a time long past, yet whose tale is timeless. The tale of the brown velociraptor, Ravi, a journey through time, a testament to the strength and diversity, unity, and adaptability. The Adventures of Max, the Golden Retriever Once upon a time, in a peaceful suburb called Sunnyville, lived a lovable golden retriever named Max. Max wasn't an ordinary dog, he was known for his golden fur, his cheerful spirit, and his affinity for adventure. Every morning, Max would wake up with the sunrise. He'd stretch his long, golden legs and get ready for the day's adventure. His tail wagging, eyes gleaming with excitement, and his shiny coat shimmering under the morning sun. Max lived with the Johnsons, a family of four. He loved his family, especially the two young children, Sam and Sarah. Max would protect them, play with them, and most importantly, join them in their exciting ventures. Max's favorite place was the vast park across the street. He loved chasing squirrels, exploring hidden trails, and meeting other canine friends. The park was his playground, and every visit was a new expedition. One winter morning, Max noticed something unusual. The park was covered in a white blanket of snow. The usual green turned into a fascinating wonderland. Max couldn't wait to explore this new world. As Max trotted through the snow, he came across a strange object. It was a red sleigh, abandoned and covered in white. Max sniffed it, circled it, and before he knew he was off on a thrilling sleigh ride. Max soon discovered he had a knack for steering the sleigh. With his strong legs, he pushed and steered, guiding the sleigh over hills and around trees. The entire park was his snowy racetrack. Sam and Sarah watched Max's sleigh ride in awe. They cheered and clapped, their faces full of wonder and delight. They had never seen anything like it before. Their Max was indeed extraordinary. Max's adventures didn't stop at the park. He was a dog of many talents. 
he could catch a frisbee midair, swim across the lake, and even rescue kittens stuck in trees. He was Sunnyville's four-legged hero. One warm summer day, Max noticed a small creature struggling in the lake. Without a second thought, Max dove into the water. His strong paws paddled against the current, and he reached the creature, a little duckling. Max carefully carried the duckling back to the shore. The little creature squeaked and waddled, fluffing its wet feathers. The duckling was safe, all thanks to our brave golden retriever, Max. News of Max's heroic deeds spread throughout Sunnyville. Everyone loved Max. He was no longer just a pet, he was a friend, a protector, and the town's pride. Max's story teaches us that everyone, even a dog, can be a hero. It's not about size or strength, but about heart. Max showed us that the smallest act of kindness can make the biggest difference. As the sun set over Sunnyville, Max would return home, tired yet content. His adventures brought joy, not just to him, but to everyone around him. He wasn't just a golden retriever, he was Max, the hero of Sunnyville. So children, as we come to the end of Max's story, remember, be brave, be kind, and don't be afraid of adventures. Just like Max, you too can make a difference in your own special way. And who knows, maybe one day, we will be telling your story, just like we told Max's. The world is full of adventures, waiting for you to explore. So get ready, because your story is yet to unfold. The Adventures of Max, the Golden Retriever, it may seem like a tale, but it's a reminder. A reminder that every day is an adventure and every one of us can be a hero, in our own unique way. All we need is a little courage and a big heart. Just like our dear Max. The Enchanted Tale of the Little Green-Eyed Pig Once upon a time in the heartland of a peaceful country, there was a toy-sized pig with emerald green eyes who lived on a farm. This pig, unlike any other, had eyes that sparkled in the sunlight, a sight mesmerizing to all who caught sight of him. His name was Reuben, a name given to him by the farm's kindly owner, Farmer Joe, who had a soft spot for this unusual creature. Reuben was playful and mischievous, often found rolling around in muddy puddles, much to the amusement of the other farm animals. One day, as Reuben was taking his daily mud bath, he noticed something peculiar lying nearby. It was a shiny, golden egg, half submerged in the mud. Reuben was naturally inquisitive, so he decided to investigate. With a gentle nudge, he rolled the egg out of the puddle and onto the dry grass. Suddenly, a tiny crack appeared on the egg. Reuben watched with bated breath as the crack widened. Out from the egg popped a small, furry animal with wings. It was a baby griffin, a mythical creature known for its bravery. This baby griffin, whom Reuben named Griffin, was weak and needed care. So Reuben and Farmer Joe nursed Griffin back to health. Day after day, Reuben and Griffin grew close. They played together, ate together, and even slept together. But as Griffin was a creature of the skies, he eventually longed to fly. Reuben, being a pig, knew nothing about flying. Reuben was sad. He didn't want to lose his best friend, but he didn't want Griffin to give up his dreams either. So he decided to consult the wise old owl who lived in the barn's loft. The owl was known for its vast knowledge and wisdom. The owl advised Reuben to let Griffin go. He explained that Griffin was born to soar and could not be contained on the farm forever. Reuben understood but was still heartbroken. He wanted to do what was right for Griffin, even if it meant saying, goodbye. When the day came for Griffin to leave, Reuben watched as his friend took flight, his wings cutting through the morning air. He felt a pang of sadness but also overwhelming joy as he saw Griffin fulfilling his destiny. Days passed, and life on the farm continued. Reuben missed Griffin, but he knew his friend was where he belonged. One day, while rolling around in his favorite mud puddle, Reuben heard a familiar flap of wings. He looked up and saw Griffin. Griffin had returned, not to stay, but to visit. And just like that, their friendship continued, each living their own lives but always finding their way back to each other. 
And so ends the tale of the little green-eyed pig and his griffin friend. It's a story about friendship, sacrifice, and understanding. It reminds us that true friendship requires selflessness. It means putting the needs of others before our own, even if it causes us pain. Remember, like Reuben, to be brave and kind. We all have a little bit of Reuben in us, waiting to share love and friendship with the world. This enchanting tale isn't just a story, it's a lesson for us all. So, let's keep this tale in our hearts and live life as Reuben did, full of love, courage, and understanding. Thank you for listening, and until next time, keep dreaming, keep believing, and always be kind. Sammy the Green T-Rex, An Adventure in Dino Land Once upon a time, in the heart of Dino Land, lived a unique dinosaur named Sammy. Sammy wasn't like the other T-Rexes, he was green, a color unheard of in the T-Rex world. Sammy's green scales sparkled under the sun, making him the center of attention, but he didn't always enjoy the spotlight. He often felt lonely, as the other dinosaurs kept a distance, unsure of his unique coloration. One day, Sammy decided to embark on a journey. He wanted to find out why he was different, believing there must be other green T-Rexes out there. His first stop was the wise, old Triceratops, Trixie. Sammy asked her about his green scales. Trixie, although old, had never seen a green T-Rex before. Discouraged but not defeated, Sammy continued his quest. He traveled through dense jungles and vast deserts, meeting various dinosaurs along the way. In the snowy mountains, he met a group of velociraptors. They too had never seen a green T-Rex. Yet, their leader, Velocity, seemed intrigued by Sammy's difference. Velocity admired Sammy's courage and his quest for identity. He offered Sammy some advice, being different doesn't mean you're alone. Embrace your uniqueness. Humbled by Velocity's words, Sammy continued his journey, more determined than ever. He encountered many dinosaurs, all fascinated by his green scales, yet none who shared them. One day, he reached a lush valley, home to a flock of pterodactyls. There, he met Petrie, a pterodactyl with green wings. Petrie was just as surprised to see Sammy as Sammy was to see him. Petrie explained how his green wings had made him an outcast, but he had learned to use them to his advantage. They made him a stronger flyer and a better hunter. Sammy was inspired by Petrie's story. He realized his green scales didn't make him an outcast, they made him unique. Motivated, Sammy decided to return home. He wanted to share his newfound knowledge and inspire his fellow T-Rexes to celebrate their differences too. Upon reaching home, Sammy found his fellow T-Rexes waiting for him. They were curious about his journey and his encounters. Sammy shared his stories, his experiences, and his realization. He encouraged his fellow T-Rexes to embrace their differences, as they were what made them unique. The T-Rexes looked at Sammy with admiration and respect. They realized they had been wrong to isolate him. Sammy's courage and wisdom had shown them the beauty of uniqueness. From that day forward, Sammy was no longer the outcast of Dino Land. He was their hero, their beacon of acceptance, and the embodiment of courage. His green scales were no longer a source of alienation but a symbol of uniqueness. They reminded everyone that being different was not a weakness, but a strength. Sammy's story spread far and wide across Dino Land. Dinosaurs of all colors and sizes began celebrating their unique traits. Sammy's journey had not only changed his life but also the entire Dino Land. His courage and determination had taught everyone a valuable lesson about acceptance and individuality. As for Sammy, he was happier than ever. He had found his purpose, his identity, and most importantly, he had learned to love himself. And so, Sammy, the green T-Rex, lived happily ever after in the heart of Dino Land, spreading love, acceptance, and teaching every dinosaur to celebrate their uniqueness. Remember, just like Sammy, it's our differences that make us special. So, let's celebrate and embrace our uniqueness, because that's what makes us, us. And with that, we come to the end of our story. 
Until next time, remember, like Sammy the Green T-Rex, you are unique, and that's what makes you special. The end of Sammy the Green T-Rex's adventure in Dino Land. Stay tuned for more exciting tales. Once upon a time in Paris, the adventures of Pierre, the French Bulldog. Once upon a time, in the bustling city of Paris, lived a French Bulldog named Pierre. With his bat-like ears and smushed face, Pierre was nothing short of adorable. Pierre lived in a little apartment overlooking the Seine. He loved watching the boats go by from his window sill, dreaming of grand adventures. One day, Pierre decided it was time to have an adventure of his own. With a wag of his tail and a sparkle in his eyes, he set off on his journey. Pierre first visited the Eiffel Tower. As he looked up at its towering majesty, he felt a flutter of excitement. This was the beginning of his great adventure. Next, Pierre trotted off to the Louvre. He watched as people marveled at the magnificent artworks. He too, felt a sense of awe and wonder. Pierre then stopped at a quaint café for a rest. The smell of fresh croissants filled the air. He made friends with the café owner who gave him a tasty treat. But Pierre's adventure didn't stop there. He trotted along the Champ Elysees, admiring the stunning architecture and bustling shops. He visited Notre Dame, marveling at its grandeur. He wondered how something so massive could be made by human hands. Pierre then found himself in a lovely park. He made friends with the local dogs and played fetch until the sun began to set. As the day turned to night, Pierre gazed at the sparkling cityscape. Paris truly was a city of lights. He then trotted off to the Sacre Coeur, where he was greeted by a choir's soothing melodies. He felt a sense of peace wash over him. Pierre then visited the Moulin Rouge. He watched as performers practiced their routines. He admired their grace and agility. Next, Pierre strolled through a bustling market. He sniffed the fresh produce and watched as people haggled over prices. He then visited the Paris Opera House. He watched as dancers practiced their routines. He felt inspired by their dedication and passion. Pierre then found himself in a small bookstore. He leafed through books, feeling the crisp pages under his paws. Next, Pierre trotted across the Pont de Arts. He watched as couples attached locks to the bridge, symbolizing their everlasting love. But Pierre was feeling tired. His paws ached, and he realized he missed his cozy apartment. So, Pierre started his journey back home. He trotted past all the sights he had seen that day, feeling a sense of accomplishment. As he neared his home, he saw a crowd gathered around something. Curious, Pierre trotted over to see what was happening. In the middle of the crowd was a tiny kitten, scared and alone. Pierre felt a tug at his heartstrings. Without a second thought, Pierre approached the kitten. He offered it a comforting nuzzle, and to everyone's surprise, the kitten calmed down. Pierre decided to bring the kitten home. He realized his adventure was not only about exploring Paris, but also about making a difference. Back at his apartment, Pierre introduced the kitten to his comfy window sill. They watched the boats go by, just as Pierre had done many times before. From that day onwards, Pierre was not just a French bulldog living in Paris. He was an adventurer, a friend, and a hero. And so, Pierre learned that adventures aren't just about new places, but also about new friends and experiences. And with that, they lived happily ever after. And that, dear friends, is the story of Pierre, the French Bulldog from Paris. May his adventures inspire you to embark on your own. Remember, no matter how big or small you are, you can always make a difference. Just like Pierre, our little hero. The Adventure of the Snowy White Cat with Sapphire Eyes Once upon a time, in a quiet little town, there lived a snowy white cat named Snowflake. Snowflake was unlike any other cat in town, she had beautiful sapphire eyes that sparkled in the sun. Everyone gravitated towards her because she was simply enchanting. People loved to stroke her silky fur and gaze into her dazzling eyes. 
But Snowflake wasn't just beautiful, she was also incredibly smart and adventurous. One day, she decided to embark on an adventure of her own, far away from her beloved town. She walked past the familiar houses, crossed the bridge, and into the woods. The woods were dense and filled with curious creatures, but Snowflake wasn't afraid. With her sparkling blue eyes wide open, she observed the world around her with sheer fascination. She climbed trees, chased butterflies, and discovered hidden paths. One day, she came across an old well hidden deep inside the woods. Snowflake peered into the well and, to her surprise, saw her reflection. Seeing her glowing blue eyes reflected back at her, she felt a sense of pride and joy. As she was lost in her thoughts, she heard a faint meow from inside the well. With her quick wit, she realized a kitten was trapped and needed help. Snowflake sprang into action, using a nearby rope to climb down into the well. She reached the frightened kitten and comforted it with her soft purr. With the kitten clinging onto her back, Snowflake began to climb up. It was a strenuous effort, but her determination didn't waver. Finally, she reached the top and took the kitten to safety. The kitten, grateful for its rescue, decided to stay with Snowflake. They became inseparable, exploring the woods and sharing adventures together. Snowflake, the snowy white cat with sapphire eyes, was no longer simply a beautiful sight. She became a symbol of courage, wit, and kindness. News of her heroic act spread throughout the town, earning her admiration and respect. Her adventures were shared as bedtime stories to children. As our story ends, remember, beauty may catch the eye, but it's courage, kindness, and intelligence that captivates the heart. And that's the tale of Snowflake, the cat more than just a pretty face. May her adventures inspire you to be brave, kind, and curious, just like her. So children, the next time you see a white cat with blue eyes, remember Snowflake and her epic adventures. Adventures of Spot, the Dalmatian, a child's history. Once upon a time, in the heart of London, lived a Dalmatian named Spot. Spot was no ordinary dog, but a dog full of courage. Spot was born in a small, cozy doghouse behind a fire station. With his unique black spots, he stood out among his siblings. As Spot grew, so did his curiosity. From chasing pigeons in the park to exploring the bustling city, he left no stone unturned. One day, Spot saw a fire. Without a second thought, he rushed into the smoke-filled building, saving a small child's life. This brave act made him a hero. Spot was not just a Dalmatian, he became an honorary firefighter at the bustling fire station. From that day forward, Spot lived his life as a hero. Children cheered his name, and he became a symbol of bravery. And so the tale of Spot, the Dalmatian, unfolds. A dog, a hero, a legend, demonstrating that courage comes in all forms. Unforgettable Journey, The Tale of Daisy the Farm Cow In the heartland of America, amidst vast stretches of greenery, there's a farm. This farm, our story's setting, holds a unique charm that's steeped in the rhythms of nature. Meet Daisy, our protagonist. A beautiful, brown-eyed cow with a heart as big as the blue, boundless sky above her. Every morning at sunrise, Farmer John would visit Daisy. A tall, gentle man, his voice a soothing lullaby to Daisy and her friends. Daisy lived beside her her friends, cheerful chickens, playful pigs, and a loyal old sheepdog named Max. The farm was their wonderland, each day an adventure. Daisy enjoyed grazing on the fresh grass, her ears twitching at the whispers of the wind. Green was her favorite color, the color of life. Sometimes, Daisy would watch as the children played nearby. Their laughter, like music, always brought a sparkle to her eyes. Cloud watching was Daisy's favorite pastime. She loved imagining shapes in the fluffy, white clouds that seemed to tell their own stories. Birds would often visit Daisy. She was friends with them all, from the smallest sparrow to the mightiest eagle, each had a special place in her heart. 
In the evenings, Daisy would listen to the song of the crickets. A symphony that signaled the close of another beautiful day. One day, Daisy noticed a small flower struggling to grow near her grazing spot. It was yellow, the color of sunshine, but it looked sad. Daisy decided to help the flower. Each day she made sure to not step on it and even nudged Farmer John to water it. Slowly, the flower started blooming. Daisy felt a sense of joy watching the little bud become a beautiful blossom. Days passed, seasons changed. Daisy saw the farm through all its ups and downs, just like the little yellow flower had. Then came the day when Daisy's milk helped save the farm. It was a drought year, and the farm was struggling. Farmer John started selling Daisy's milk at the local market. It was so delicious that it quickly became popular. The farm was saved. The news spread. Daisy was hailed as the town's hero. Even the mayor came to congratulate her, but Daisy only had eyes for her little yellow flower. Daisy taught everyone about resilience. She showed the town that even during tough times, hope can bloom. The children started visiting Daisy more often. She became their favorite story, a living tale of courage and love. Farmer John, with tears in his eyes, thanked Daisy. Her actions had not only saved the farm but had also brought the community together. At night, under the starlit sky, Daisy would often muse about her journey. Each star a memory, a story waiting to be told. One day, a little calf was born. Daisy became a mother. She named her Sunshine, in honor of the little yellow flower. Sunshine grew under Daisy's watchful eyes, learning about life, love, and everything in between. Daisy, the cow, became a legend. A symbol of hope, resilience, and love for the entire town. To this day, children gather around Farmer John to listen to the tale of Daisy. Her story, like the stars, never fades. And so, Daisy continues to live on, in the heartbeats of the farm, in the stories of the town, and in the memories of everyone who knew her. Thus ends our tale of Daisy, the unforgettable farm cow. An ordinary cow with an extraordinary story. Remember Daisy, as you gaze upon a yellow flower, or when you see cows grazing in a field. Remember the love and the lessons she left behind. This is Daisy's legacy, a testament of hope and resilience that echoes across the farm. A story that shows how even the simplest of lives can create the grandest of tales. Once upon a pug, the tail wagging tale of Little Pug. Meet Little Pug, the smallest and the cutest puppy in Pugville. His round, adorable face and playful nature make everyone in the town fall in love with him. Every morning, Little Pug would wake up with the first rays of the sun. His eyes, filled with curiosity and wonder, would explore the world around him. The neighborhood kids loved playing with Little Pug. They would run around in the park, his tiny paws scampering on the lush green grass, amidst their joyous laughter. One day, Little Pug woke up to find his favorite chew toy gone. He searched high and low, but it was nowhere to be found. His heart was filled with sadness. Despite the loss, Little Pug didn't lose hope. He decided he would find his beloved toy. With a determined heart, his quest began. Every corner, every nook and cranny, he explored. In his journey, Little Pug met Mr. Whiskers, the wise old cat of the neighborhood. He asked him if he had seen his toy. But Mr. Whiskers hadn't seen it. Next, Little Pug met Mrs. Feather, the chirpy sparrow who lived at the topmost branch of the tallest tree. She too had not seen the missing toy. Little Pug felt disheartened, but he didn't let his spirits down. He continued his quest, his small frame filled with determination. Suddenly, he heard a squeak. His heart jumped with joy. He recognized that squeak, it was the sound his chew toy made. He followed the sound and found himself near the old wooden fence. He saw a tiny hole at the bottom. Could his toy be in there? With a brave heart, Little Pug ventured inside the hole. It was dark and a little scary, but his desire to find his toy was stronger. 
After what seemed like an eternity, his tiny paw touched something. It was his missing Chu toy. His joy knew no bounds. He hurriedly pulled it out of the hole. Holding his precious toy in his mouth, he dashed towards home, his tiny tail wagging with happiness. Everyone was so proud of little Pug. He had found his toy all by himself. His little adventure made him the hero of Pugville. That night, little Pug slept with his chew toy tucked safely by his side. His dreams were filled with joy and adventure, just like his day had been. From that day forward, little Pug was known for his courage and determination. He became an inspiration to all the kids in the neighborhood. His tale of bravery spread across Pugville, teaching everyone that size doesn't matter when you have a determined heart. Little Pug's adventure was a reminder that obstacles can be overcome with courage and a positive attitude. His story also taught everyone to be patient and persistent when faced with challenges. But above all, Little Pug's journey was a testament to the power of hope and the rewards of perseverance. So, let's remember Little Pug's story whenever we face a problem. Let's be brave and determined, just like our adorable little hero. After all, every challenge, no matter how big or small, is an adventure waiting to be embarked upon. The end of the story, but not of Little Pug's adventures. Because every day holds a new tale, a new adventure for our courageous little pug. Join us again to hear more about the delightful escapades of our favorite puppy, the brave and adorable, Little Pug. This is Little Pug's Tail Wagging Tail. Until next time, keep wagging your tails and chasing your dreams, just like Little Pug. Once upon a time, there was a green turtle. In a quiet little corner of the vast blue ocean, there lived a young green turtle named Timmy. Timmy was just like any other turtle in the ocean, except for one thing, he was green, a bright, vibrant green that shimmered under the sunlight. Every day, Timmy would swim around the coral reefs, his home. His green shell glistened as he weaved through the colorful corals, creating a beautiful sight for every fish that passed by. While he loved his home, Timmy longed for something more, a grand adventure. One day, while looking at his reflection, he noticed something. His shell was becoming dull. He looked around and noticed that the coral reefs were losing their vibrant colors too. Timmy knew then, he had to do something. He decided to embark on a journey to find the reason behind this change. Timmy said, goodbye, to his friends, packed his favorite seaweed snacks, and started his journey. His heart was full of determination and a desire to bring back the radiance to his beloved home. As he swam towards the unknown, Timmy met many creatures. He saw a school of fish, their silver bodies glinting in the sunlight. They wished him luck and told him to follow the current, and so he did. Soon, he came across a wise old octopus named Oliver. Oliver had heard about the fading colors of the reef. He told Timmy about a magical pearl deep in the ocean, whose light restored colors. Fired up, Timmy decided to find this magical pearl. He swam deeper into the ocean, where the sunlight barely reached. It was scary, but Timmy was brave. He met creatures he had never seen before. Each one told him he was getting closer to the pearl. Finally, after a long and tiring journey, he saw a soft glow. As he swam closer, he saw it, the magical pearl. Filled with joy, Timmy reached out to touch it. Suddenly, he was enveloped in a warm, radiant light. When he opened his eyes, Timmy was back at the coral reef. But something was different, the colors were back. His shell was bright green again, and the reef was more vibrant than ever. His friends rushed towards him, their eyes wide with disbelief and joy. They couldn't believe what they saw. Timmy, their friend, had saved their home. From that day forward, not only was Timmy known as the Green Turtle, but also the hero of the Coral Reef. His courage and determination brought back the colors they held so dear. And so, Timmy's grand adventure came to an end. But his story, his story of bravery, determination and love for his home, will be told for generations to come. And that, my dear friends, is the story of Timmy, the Green Turtle. 
Remember, no matter how small you are, or how big the challenge, you too can make a difference. Just like Timmy did. A testament to Timmy's incredible journey. The story of the green turtle, who brought color back to his home, forever echoing in the blue expanse of the ocean. Charms and Whiskers, The Tale of the Black Cat Once upon a time, in a bustling city, there lived a black cat named Shadow, infamous for his silky, dark fur and radiant green eyes. In the heart of the city, Shadow had a favorite alley, with a secret nook under a rusty staircase. It was his hidden sanctuary away from the loud noises and prying eyes. Despite his urban dwelling, Shadow was different from other cats. He had a glimmer of magic, a gift passed down from his ancestors, making his life an extraordinary adventure. Everyone feared Shadow, associating his dark fur with superstitions and bad luck. Shadow, however, was the kindest soul with a heart full of love for the city and its dwellers. He spent his days exploring rooftops, chasing butterflies, and weaving in and out of the bustling city life. He was a free spirit, finding joy in his own company and the hustle-bustle of the city. One day, Shadow discovered his special power. With a flick of his tail and a concentrated stare, he could create tiny sparks of magic that brought joy and happiness. Delighted with his ability, Shadow decided to use his magic to help the city dwellers and change their misconceptions about him. His quests of kindness were about to begin. In the morning, he helped Mrs. Gray find her lost glasses. A flick of Shadow's tail, a concentration of his stare, and the glasses appeared, bringing a smile to Mrs. Gray's face. Later in the afternoon, he found little Tommy crying over his lost toy car. Shadow's tail flicked, his eyes focused, and Tommy's toy car surfaced, bringing an ecstatic grin to the little boy's face. As the sun set, Shadow found Mrs. Baker struggling to light the stubborn oven. With a flick and a stare, Shadow's magic sparked the oven into life, and Mrs. Baker could bake her delicious pies once again. News of Shadow's deeds began to spread, and the residents started to see the black cat not as a bad omen, but as a beacon of goodness and joy. Children started drawing pictures of Shadow, depicting him as a hero, not a monster. Shadow's heart swelled with happiness, but he knew his mission was not yet accomplished. The mayor's prized roses were dying, a problem even the most skilled gardeners couldn't solve. Shadow saw this as an opportunity to bring more joy and erase the remaining misconceptions about him. With a flick of his tail and a concentrated stare, Shadow revived the wilting roses. The mayor was thrilled, and the story of the black cat's magic spread like wildfire. The city dwellers finally embraced Shadow, no longer associating him with bad luck. They realized that their misconceptions were just that, misconceptions. Shadow was finally accepted, loved, and appreciated for who he truly was. His magic not only transformed the city but also the hearts of its dwellers. Now, children played with Shadow, and adults fed him delicious treats. His once lonely alley was filled with laughter, warmth, and love. Shadow, the black cat, had finally changed the city's narrative. He proved that one's appearance or color didn't define one's character or destiny. His tale became a legend, a bedtime story told by parents to their children. The story of a black cat who brought joy, happiness, and love to a bustling city. Shadow's life was an extraordinary adventure, a tale of magic and love. He lived his days content, knowing he had made a difference and debunked a legacy of fear and superstition. And so, the story of Shadow, the Black Cat, teaches us to look beyond appearances and to embrace differences. For, hidden within the most unexpected places, magic awaits discovery. The Unforgettable Tale of Ella, the Grey Elephant Once upon a time, in the heart of the African savanna, lived a grey elephant named Ella. Ella was not just an ordinary elephant, she was extraordinarily gentle, kind-hearted and intelligent. Ella was born into a close-knit elephant family. They roamed the vast plains together, protecting each other, sharing their food, and nurturing each other with love. Every day, Ella would wake up to the golden sunrise, and with the warmth of her mother's affection, she would embark on her daily adventures. She was curious and loved exploring. 
The vast plains, the dense forests, the shimmering lakes were her playgrounds. Ella's best friend was a mischievous monkey named Max. They shared many adventures together, from swimming in the lakes to racing across the plains. One day, they stumbled upon a mysterious, old tree. The tree was massive and its branches reached out to the sky, as if trying to touch the clouds. Underneath the tree, they noticed a shiny, golden object partially hidden beneath the roots. It was a magical amulet. Ella picked it up with her trunk and suddenly, the amulet started to glow. It then whispered a secret into Ella's ears. From that moment, Ella discovered that she had gained the ability to understand and speak human language. With her newfound ability, Ella became the bridge between her elephant herd and the people living on the outskirts of the savanna. She helped the villagers understand the elephants better. She explained their needs, their fears, and their desires. The villagers were fascinated by Ella. They started respecting the elephants and ensured they had enough space and food to live peacefully. In return, the elephants helped the villagers in times of need. They protected the village from wild animals and helped in carrying heavy loads. Ella's magical amulet became a symbol of unity and peace. The villagers often referred to it as the part of the savanna. Years passed, and Ella grew older. She became a wise and respected leader in both her elephant herd and the village. She had many stories to tell, of her adventures, her friendships, and the beautiful harmony she helped create between humans and elephants. Max, now also an old monkey, often listened to Ella's stories with his grandkids, teaching them the importance of friendship and harmony with nature. Ella was more than just a grey elephant. She was a symbol of love, peace, and unity. Her story became a legend, passed down from generation to generation among both elephants and humans. As the sun sets in the savanna, the tale of Ella, the grey elephant, is still told around the firesides. Children and adults like listen with to the unforgettable story of Ella, who wasn't just an elephant, but a legend. And as the stars twinkle above, they whisper Ella's story, the story of a grey elephant who changed the heart of the savanna forever. This is the story of Ella, the grey elephant. A story of courage, friendship, and the beautiful harmony between humans and nature. As we close her tale, always remember, respect for all living creatures big or small, can bring about a magical transformation. Just like Ella, we all have the power to make a difference, to promote peace, and to ensure harmony with nature. May the tale of Ella, the Grey Elephant, inspire you to respect and protect nature. For it is in this respect and protection, that true magic lies. Journey Through Time with Whiskers, the Orange Cat in a quiet corner of the world, there's an orange cat named Whiskers. He's not your ordinary, everyday cat. Whiskers has a magical collar with a time-traveling charm. Whiskers' tail is one filled with educational adventures. With each leap through time, he discovers a new piece of history. Our first stop takes us to ancient Egypt. Whiskers finds himself among the pyramids. Here, cats were worshipped and seen as symbols of grace and mystery. He learns about Cleopatra, the last pharaoh of Egypt. She loved cats and even adorned her crown with a golden cat statue. Next, Whiskers leaps forward to the Middle Ages in Europe. It was a time of knights, castles, and superstitions. Cats, unfortunately, were not so lucky during this era. In the dark corners of these medieval streets, cats were seen as witches' companions. But Whiskers quickly charms the townsfolk with his playful antics. Then, Whiskers journeys to 15th century Japan. Here, he encounters the beckoning cat statues, famously known as Manekiniko. They are believed to bring good luck and fortune. He pays a visit to the Gadakuji Temple, the birthplace of the Manekiniko. Whiskers learns how one cat's simple act of beckoning a feudal lord into a temple saved his life. Whiskers then leaps to the 17th century Caribbean. He finds himself aboard a pirate ship. Contrary to popular belief, pirates believed cats brought good luck and kept evil spirits at bay. 
Our orange feline learns about the famous pirate, Blackbeard. He hears tales of how Blackbeard's own cat, named Lucifer, was feared yet respected by the crew. Up next is Victorian England. Here, cats held a special place in society. They were cherished pets, believed to ward off evil spirits and bring good fortune. Whiskers enjoys a warm welcome in the house of Queen Victoria. He learns that she had a deep love for animals, particularly her two blue Persian cats. Whiskers then travels to 20th century America. By now, cats are popular household pets, symbolizing comfort and companionship. He even gets a glimpse of the a Hollywood cats, like the famous orange feline, Morris, who starred in numerous television commercials. Whiskers' final stop is the present day. Cats are now an integral part of many families worldwide. They comfort us, make us laugh, and sometimes surprise us with their intelligence and ability. Back home, Whiskers lies down for a nap. His magical time-traveling charm now just a shiny token on his collar. Through Whiskers, we learned that cats have played various roles throughout history. They've been worshipped, feared, but most importantly, loved. Whiskers is more than just an orange cat. He is a reminder that even the smallest creatures can have the grandest adventures. Let us remember Whiskers' journey. It's a testament to the enduring bond between humans and cats throughout the ages. By learning about the past, we understand more about the present. Just as Whiskers did, every journey holds a lesson for us to learn. And who knows, maybe your own pet has a magical collar. Maybe they too have tales to tell of adventures untold. In the end, every cat has a story to tell, a history to share. And with that, we conclude our journey with Whiskers, the orange cat. Remember, no matter where or when, cats will always be our beloved companions. And in their eyes, we see reflections of our own history. Join us again on our next adventure, as we unravel more tales of history through the eyes of our feline friends. Once upon a time in a vibrant jungle, the adventures of Perry, the little peacock. In the heart of the lush, vibrant jungle lived Perry, the little peacock. Irresistibly cute, Perry was adorned with tiny, colorful feathers that shimmered in the sunlight. Each day, Perry would flutter around, curiously exploring his home. His eyes would twinkle with delight at the sight of bright flowers and the chatter of his fellow creatures. However, Perry was not just known for his vivacious charm, but for a heart filled with kindness, which was more captivating than his stunning feathers. One balmy afternoon, Perry noticed a tiny caterpillar struggling to climb up a leaf. Without a second thought, he offered his tail as a bridge, helping the caterpillar reach its destination. The next morning, a thirsty hummingbird couldn't reach a tall, blooming flower. Perry saw this, spread his glorious wings, and lifted the bird, helping it sip the sweet nectar. One evening, Perry saw a tiny mouse trembling in the cold. He invited the mouse under his warm and cozy feathers, providing shelter and warmth on the chilly night. News of Perry's kindness began to spread like wildfire through the jungle. Every creature, big or small, knew they could count on Perry in times of need. Yet, Perry was modest. He didn't help for fame or praise. Instead, he believed that every act of kindness, however small, made the world a better place. One day, a fierce storm hit the jungle. Perry's nest was destroyed, and his vibrant feathers were drenched. The once chirpy bird was left cold, wet, and homeless. However, the jungle inhabitants didn't forget Perry's kindness. The caterpillar, now a beautiful butterfly, offered Perry shelter under a big, sturdy leaf, keeping him dry from the rain. The mouse, remembering Perry's warmth, snuggled against him, providing warmth in the cold, stormy night. The hummingbird brought him berries and seeds, ensuring he wasn't hungry. The storm passed, and the sun rose, painting the jungle in a warm, golden hue. Perry was moved by the kindness he received from his friends. Perry realized that he wasn't just loved for his vibrant feathers, but for his kindness. His acts of goodwill had come around, warmed him, fed him, and sheltered him. From that day forward, Perry's kindness grew tenfold. 
He helped others not expecting anything in return, but because he knew the value of kindness and the impact it had. This story thus unfolds a beautiful truth. Kindness, like a boomerang, always returns. And it's not the physical beauty, but the beauty of one's heart that truly matters. Perry's tale serves as a reminder to us all. A reminder that every act of kindness, however small, can make a significant difference in someone's life. So, let us strive to be like Perry, spreading kindness wherever we go. Because, at the end of the day, it's these acts of love and compassion that truly make the world a beautiful place. And so ends the story of this beautiful peacock who helped the entire forest with the power of its heart. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel and leave a heart on this video. Until the next adventure of this gorgeous peacock. The Adventures of Sunny, the Cheerful Yellow Bird Meet Sunny, a cheerful yellow bird, whose radiance is as bright as the summer sun. With his plumage of sunny hues, he is a standout in his lush, green forest home. Every morning, Sunny wakes up, ready to start his day. He flutters his little wings, shaking off morning dew, and choruses a melody that is the forest's natural alarm clock. Sunny's home is a beautiful nest, a cozy place hidden between leafy branches of an old oak tree. It's a secret haven, filled with soft, warm feathers and memories of his ancestors. Sunny is a wanderlust. Each day, he ventures out, exploring the boundless sky and the ever-changing forest. His adventures are tales of courage and curiosity. One day, Sunny spots a mysterious, shiny object glimmering amidst the undergrowth. Driven by curiosity, he swoops down to get a closer look. The object is a tiny, lost compass. Sunny is intrigued by the compass. He has seen the older birds use it. Excitedly, he decides to embark on an adventure, guided by the compass's trembling needle. With a heart full of courage, Sunny sets off, flying towards the unknown. The wind under his wings is his ally, the sun his guiding light. He is ready to brave whatever lies ahead. First, he soars over a sparkling river that serenely snakes across the forest. The sight of fishes, playfully dancing beneath the crystal clear water, makes Sunny giggle with joy. Next, he encounters a towering mountain, its peak touching the sky. It's a challenge that Sunny accepts with gusto, and after a long, tiring climb, he reaches the summit, feeling victorious. In the dense forest, beyond the mountain, Sunny meets new friends. He sings with the choir of canaries, races with the fleet of finches, and shares stories with the owls under the moonlight. But adventures aren't always fun and games. Sunny also faces trials. He flies through a storm, with thunder and lightning as his challengers. But his bravery outshines the darkness, and he comes out stronger. One day, Sunny encounters a lost baby bird, trembling and alone. Sunny, with his big heart, decides to help and, with his newfound compass, guides the little bird home. On another adventure, Sunny rescues a butterfly caught in a spider's web. He carefully untangles the fragile creature, demonstrating his inherent kindness and love for all living things. Sunny's adventures teach him many things. He learns about compassion, bravery, friendship, and the value of helping others. He discovers that every action has a consequence, and every friend is a treasure. Sunny grows older, wiser, and turns into a hero of his forest. His stories become legends, giving life lessons to the young birds who listen with twinkling eyes. But Sunny remains humble, always ready to lend a wing to anyone in need. His heart, like his color, is bright and warming. He is a beacon of hope in his forest home. The compass becomes his faithful companion, guiding him through countless adventures. Sunny learns to read its signs, to trust its directions, and to follow its guidance. Despite his adventures, Sunny always returns home. He cherishes his little nest, his safe haven. He realizes the importance of having a place to return to, a place where he belongs. With time, Sunny also realizes his journey isn't just about exploring new places. It's also about understanding himself, his strengths, his fears, his dreams, and his purpose. 
Sonny continues to live, to learn, and to love. He experiences joy, fear, triumph, and sometimes failure. But each moment, each adventure, each encounter adds to his beautiful life story. Through all his adventures, Sonny remains the cheerful, yellow bird that everyone loves. His spirit is infectious, his courage inspiring, and his stories a treasure trove of wisdom. So, children, Sonny's tale is a reminder for us all. It tells us to be brave, curious, compassionate, and kind. It urges us to explore, to learn, to grow, but also to cherish our roots. Remember, life is a lot like Sonny's adventures. It's filled with challenges and victories, with new friends and goodbyes, with laughter and tears, with learning and growing. And just like Sunny, we all have a compass. It might not always point north, but it always leads us to where we need to be. Trust it, follow it, and it will guide you on your own unique adventure. So, keep exploring, keep dreaming, keep learning. Be like Sunny, be the bright, cheerful light in your world. And remember, every day is another chance to start a new adventure. The Adventures of Sunny, the Cheerful Yellow Bird, a tale of bravery, exploration, and kindness. A tale that reminds us to embrace life's adventures and to always remain true to ourselves. The Adventures of Gigi the Baby Giraffe Once upon a time, in the heart of the vast African savanna, a baby giraffe named Gigi was born. Her long, spindly legs wobbled as she took her first steps under the warm, golden sun. Gigi was unique, for she had spots shaped like stars twinkling on her velvety coat. Her mother, gentle and wise, told her that her starry spots made her special, and they were a gift from the stars in the sky. Gigi was eager to explore the wild savanna. She would frolic around, her curious eyes inspecting every leaf and bug. Her favorite thing to do was to stretch her long neck and nibble on the fresh, green canopy of the acacia trees. One day, as Gigi was at play, she noticed a group of meerkats chattering excitedly. They were looking at something Gigi couldn't see. With a sense of adventure, Gigi decided to find out what the commotion was all about. Gigi soon realized the meerkats were watching a family of elephants. She saw them working together to help a baby elephant who had accidentally fallen into a mud pit. With their teamwork, they safely pulled the baby out. Gigi admired the elephant's cooperative efforts. She wondered if she, too, would someday have to help a friend in need. She decided to make friends with the other animals so that she could learn and grow. She befriended a playful zebra named C. C was fast and agile, and Gigi loved to watch her gallop across the vast plains. They spent hours running around, their laughter echoing across the savanna. One day, Z tripped over a hidden rock and hurt her leg. Gigi remembered the elephants and knew what she had to do. She used her long neck to gently lift Z up from the ground. Gigi called upon their friends for help, the elephants, the meerkats, everyone came together. They tended to Z and helped her walk again. Gigi felt a sense of accomplishment. She had helped her friend, just like the elephants. From then on, Gigi was not just a baby giraffe with starry spots. She was a leader, a helper, a friend that everyone in the savanna trusted and loved. She continued to learn and grow, her starry spots shining brighter every day. Gigi became a beacon of courage and kindness in the African savanna. Her adventures taught her to stay curious, lend a hand to those in need, and honor the gift she was given. As the sun set each day, Gigi would look up at the twinkling stars and whisper a thank you. She was grateful for the lessons, the friendships, and the adventures. And every night, she dreamt of a new day filled with exciting adventures. And so, Gigi's story continues, her starry spots a symbol of her spirit. Each day is a new chapter, a new adventure waiting to unfold in the heart of the African savanna. The Adventures of Gigi the Baby Giraffe is a tale of courage, friendship, and the gift of being unique. A story that reminds us that every adventure brings a chance to learn, grow, and shine. So, let's keep exploring, just like Gigi, 